you know, block out all the stuff that's been going on with the problems and the weight situation? Because you, you know, you fought very well. It's like, even with all that stuff hanging over your head. Well, Dan. You know you shouldn't even get get no questions right now because <laughs> our bad blood on Twitter. But you know we, we we good as a we good as a syrup sandwich in the hood. <laughs> Feel me? I think that's good, right? <laughs> that's real good. But you know um I blocked everything out, man. You know um at the end of the day I stayed focused. I knew I had I had everything to lose, and he had everything to gain from this from the night. So then, do you regret not trying to? It was, one, it was 0.4 pounds. It wasn't like it was, you know, a tremendous amount. And you drank right away. So. I'm just wondering what was in your mind that you weren't even going to make the attempt. At. Because you would still be, you'd still be champion. Listen, I'm a four-time world champion in four different weight classes. We won that belt already. We on to the next one. Like I said before, I won't. I will not be fighting 140 again. Um, I'm going up in weight. I grew out of the weight, and um, my next fight will be at 147 pounds. You have anybody in mind? Huh? Anybody in mind? I don't know if you know my slogan or not, but anybody can. <laughs> Africans, Mexicans, I just knocked out a man from the UK. Anybody can get it. And like I said before, um, I don't mean to keep um, going on on the topic, you know, but from here on out, that big bro shit is out the door. You already know it like that. You already know. Um, I'm right. off that shit. You from, now on, um, from now on, he will address me as AB and I will address him as Floyd Mayweather. All right. Do you, do you expect him to really take, take your rifle's fight? Um, you, you um, I mean, he can. But I ain't bullshit. <laughs> no disrespect to D Rose, but I ain't bullshit. <laughs> At the end of the fight, it looked like you were headed over to where he was sitting. Oh, you jumped oh, through the rose. Who were you oh, at the door? end of the fight, I try to. I was actually going to go out there and, and, and pay homage because even though, even though we got this, uh, I would say. I would say uh, misunderstanding because that's what it is right now. You know, I gotta pay homage to him because I learned so much from him. So I was gonna go. I was gonna go out and shake his hand like a man. I was gonna go shake his hand and just tell him thank you for giving me this easy money. If you do fight, if you do fight, what will If we do fight, he won't be 50, you know. What was it about his remarks that bothered you so much? No ifs. Listen, listen. It wasn't about his remarks. It's a thing when you 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 say you love somebody, and you call somebody your little brother, and somebody that look up to you. But on every interview that you do, that you go out your way to do, you talking down on this man. How the hell could you talk down on your little brother? Somebody say you say you love. Somebody say you say you passing the torch to. That's like me talking shit about Robert Easter. Come on, man. That's backwards as hell. I don't know where y'all come from, but where I come from, man, people will get shot like that. I ain't saying I, I ain't saying I shoot him because, cause, cause it ain't that serious. But I'm saying like, that's how serious it is, man. I, real people don't do things like that. So if he said to you in private as opposed to in public, would that be different? Totally different. Then I respect it. I respect it. A real man to be like, if a real man, if he got a real problem with you, a real man gonna tell you like this. Hey, look, come talk to me over here. Your breath stink. Here go a piece of gum. Somebody ain't somebody ain't gonna do it on camera like oh man your breath stank in front of all these people but this your little brother you won't do that. Adrian, will you allow yourself now to think about what you have to do on Monday? Hey man, listen. Hey, what Jay Z say? We be cases like Rocky. We okay. We okay. What's we okay. What's more important uh, about a possible battle with Mayweather or moving up and, and waiting to get another world title? I think that question is rhetorical. Five time. Five time. What's important is is. Is, is me doing the best thing for me, my career, and my children. And we're gonna go to the drawing board with Al Heyman, and um, the, the CEO of, of my company, uh, as myself, and uh, my people, and um, we're gonna make the right decision, man. Right now, man, it's, it's about me um, having fun with my family, my friends, kissing my children, my nephews, that, that, that 
that support me and my loved ones and all my fans, man. Did you and get I, a chance to see Robert's fight? And how would you grade his performance? Uh, <laughs> I seen I seen the first three rounds and after and I seen the beginning of the fourth round and I was like I know I knew he's gonna knock him out so I just went to go start warming up and I heard everybody up uh, yelling so I'm like okay he did his thing he did what he's supposed to do. Hey Adrian, how come you didn't try to lose the weight yesterday? Quarter pound. Um, I mean, when you when you it's it's just something that a reporter like you guys won't ever understand because you guys haven't pushed yourself for three months trying to get down to the weight and then once you meet once you hit that wall you just can't go no more you let them deal with the numbers and that's what it was we do, you felt you lost everything you could at that point I was listen it was over I grew out of the weight class but tonight I handled my business and that all that matter what did you think tonight? um he came to do his best um he was definitely tough he wasn't giving up but every time I hit him, he made a noise. <laughs> he made a noise like I was no homo, like I was sticking it to him, man. <laughs> but um, but um, I, I I can't say, man. He, he definitely came to fight. But from the first round, he knew that I was that that I was everything they said I was. A problem. Did you? Did he hurt you? Oh, Third round, fourth round. Um. <laughs> to be honest, after the first round when I heard him, I came back and I told Floyd, I said I'ma stop him. I looked, I went coming back. If you look at I, I looked at Floyd and I told I'ma stop him. I know I was gonna stop him. Now Floyd's retired. I'm a Philly guy. What do you think about a potential matchup with a, 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 a Danny Garcia? He's free. Man, listen. I told you, man, I don't discriminate. This is a business. This is a business. At the end of the day, if me and Danny fight, we fight. But I respect Danny. I, I love everything he's doing. I want him to keep winning. But I'm down to fight anybody, man. I'm, I'm trying to be the best ever. The best ever. And, and, and the best ever don't mean just being undefeated. The best ever is going out there and fighting everybody and doing your best and doing all you can do for the sport. One more question. It was a legendary sports session. Mark Peterson and Floyd. Hey, listen, that ain't my business. That ain't my business what they say happened in, the, in that sparring match. Um, and th those are two guys that I still respect at the, at the end of the day. So I'm not going to talk about what happened with them. Right now, we're talking about me. And right now, I just knocked the motherfucker out. So let's. So what's happening? All right, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Hey, hey, and don't get it twisted, man. My protege will be the next world champion for about billions promotions. Robert Easter Jr., baby. He's going to be the next one. <laughs> and you heard my nephew, and he's going to be the next one. All right. Thanks, everybody. Get home safe, okay? Uh, no, his car is right here.